Ready for your next hometown parade is this nice looking 1966 Ford Galaxy 500 convertible. It's powered by a 289 two barrel V8 engine with power steering and power brakes. The engine runs great, it's got new spark plug wires, coil wire, that kind of stuff. Um, it's had kind of a quick uh, repaint and touch up under the hood. Um, it looks nice for a driver. Hood gaps look great throughout. Uh, driver side and passenger side gaps are both great. And uh, they fit nice and flush against the fender. Uh, front grill is in good shape. It's got a bunch of little micro scratches in it, but uh, you know, a 10 foot it looks great. Same thing with the front bumper. It's got a couple dings, but overall appearance and stuff, it's uh, very presentable. This is a, a dark blue metallic paint. If you look right down into the paint, it's got a great metallic to it. It just was never wet sanded and buffed. It's what I'd call a yeah, between an amateur and a, a driver paint job. Um, but I think if a guy wet sanded and buffed it, it would look real nice. Then I'd take it to what I'd call probably just a, a nice driver paint job that looks great at 10 foot. But right now it, uh, it's uh, just a nice looking car. As far as paint imperfections, that kind of thing, it's got some uh, little tiny things here in the paint. No rust on the lower fender, door, lower quarters, all very solid. There's no rust blisters anywhere there. If we look at the undercarriage pictures on this car, it's a super solid car. I don't know why they didn't do a little better job on the paint. If we look at the gap on the passenger side door, it lines up nicely. Bottom corner of the door is absolutely perfect. The door jams are all painted nice. All the rubbers are in excellent condition. Passenger side door panel appears that it's all original. It's got some wrinkles and stuff like that down low, but the vinyl all appears in good shape. When they did the paint job, they even painted all the way in the inner fenders and that kind of stuff. Uh, it's got two-tone uh, light blue and gray interior, gray carpet, dash pads in good shape, no cracks in the dash pad, um, dash is painted body color. It's got a Kenwood CD player. It's an automatic on the column. As far as our seats go, um, it's got two little splits down here at the very bottom of our seat, one here and a small hole there. It's got some cigarette burns right over here in the corner. Other than that, very, very presentable. Door panels front and back look good. Seats look good. Door shuts real nice on it. Like I said, it's got a great body on it. I mean, you got a dark blue car. It's got a few little ripples in the quarters. Nothing too bad though. Um, but with a wet sand and a buff, I really think this car would look really sharp. Uh, back bumper is uh, very shiny and nice. It's got a few scratches and stuff in it, but the chrome still looks good. It's got dual exhaust, sounds nice. The chrome on the trunk lid's got a few, you know, all along the top here is scratched up, but uh, overall appearance is good. It's all original. Trunk lid gap on the driver's side and passenger side, both is in excellent shape. As we look up and down the driver's side, yet again, uh, nice straight car. A couple little tiny dings in it that didn't get taken out, but all in all, real nice. Quarter panel, rocker door, lower fender, no blisters anywhere on the car. And if you look at the undercarriage pictures, like I said, you'll know why. It's super solid, original car. We open up the driver's side door, no body filler, no putty. Bottom of the door is great. It's got its original tag. Body was 76A, color K. 
trim is 62, date is 606D, DSO is 11, axles 1, trans is 6. Rubbers are nice. Door jams are all painted nice, just like the exterior of the car. This trim along the side of the door is really ratty and tacky. You know, it's the original chrome trim, but it's beat up, scratched up. Seat's very comfortable. Horn is not working. It does have its original AM radio still, all intact. It's got a Kenwood deck down here. Looks good. As far as our dash paint and stuff, looks very presentable. It's got the rear view mirror. As I mentioned before, the door panels, kick panels, all that stuff is very presentable on the car. Wipers work. Heater fan works. The horn does not work. Gas gauge works and speedometer works. No one's ever messed with it. The odometer shows 41,000 miles. I'm guessing uh, it's 141. Um, but as far as the 289 engine goes, no one put a four barrel or changed it. It's nice this old girl has power steering. It's not gonna win any races, but as far as a cruiser, it goes nice down the road. Shocks feel fine, they don't bottom out. The dual, dual exhaust sounds okay. Um, it's got a couple uh, flex pipe pieces at the very back, but sounds fine. Speedometer's not bouncing around at all at 45 or 50. As far as our brakes go, they're stopping on them, no hands on the wheel. Stops nice and straight. We're at a stop sign, I mean it idles nice, that kind of thing. Like I said, she's uh, takes a little while to get up to speed, but have disc it's got drum brakes stops nice and straight so great uh, like I said a starter car I'd call it kind of a starter classic car convertible something a guy can have a lot of fun in and not have tons of money invested <laughs>